sketch stuff. Oh, I can't talk today. The sketch stuff. Oh my gosh. Lori Ann Gibson. Was that her name? I think that was her name. Lori Beth Denberg. There you go. Lori Beth Denberg. Lori Ann. I was thinking of that choreographer, Lori Ann. They have similar names. What's happening? My name is Madeline, and if you're new to my channel, then it's nice to meet ya. About a month ago, I gave you six TV shows that rock the childhood days. Today, I'm going to tell you six more. Let's get started. All That. All That was a sketch show on Nickelodeon where basically different various performers do various things. On and on, like, performers would go, or and new performers would come. By about the 2000s, like, all the performers that were in the 60s and vanished. I don't know what happened. And then it came back with a lot of new comedians. The older one was better. It had various performers as such Amanda Bynes, Keenan Thompson, Josh Server, Kel from Keenan and, and Kel. And then later on it had stuff, people like, I forgot their names. All I remember that was on there was Lisa Foyles and Jamie Lynn Spears and Jack DeSena, etc. The sketch show started in 1994 and it ended in 2005. But you can see a lot of the sketches on YouTube. Courage the Cowardly Dog. Dog. Courage the Cowardly Dog was about a purple dog named Courage who's pretty much scared of everything. His owners are farmers who have no idea that monsters always come up. I think the dad pretty much gives them the slaughter. He's always like, stupid dog. I don't remember. I haven't seen a show in forever. That's just all I remember. I just remember using pictures of Courage the Cowardly Dog for an English project where I talked all about Courage. The show is on Cartoon Network. It premiered in 1999, and the final episode came out in 2002. That's just all I know. I didn't watch the show that much. Hannah Montana. Montana. The music is so horrible, but the show was good. If y'all haven't noticed, Hannah Montana was on Disney Channel, and it's about a little girl named Miley Cyrus who has a secret identity as Hannah Montana. She has two best friends named Lily and Oliver who have no idea that her best friend is secretly Hannah Montana until, like, a few episodes. <laughs> the first two episodes when they found out. She also has this really annoying brother named Jackson lives by the beach who has who, with the shack that's owned by a little man named Rico, who's pretty evil. And once in a while, there are like a lot of guests. Miley dated Jake Ryan, who was played by Cody Lindley. Um, yeah, that's basically I want to mention about the show. The music was terrible, but the TV show was good. I'm sorry, guys. It just was. It premiered in 2006 and ended in 2011. Drake and Josh. Josh. Here's a TV show where the music was good. Drake and Josh was about these two, like that two high school students named Drake and Josh, who parent, who's Jake's mom and Josh's dad gets married, so they have to live with each other. Drake is that dumb type of brother, and Josh is that smart one, who's very who doesn't want to get in trouble. Drake always gets in trouble. They also have an evil little sister named Megan, and she c performs all of these crazy shenanigans, and Drake and Josh always get the blame. Megan is a sweet little girl in her parents' eyes, but in Drake and Josh's eyes, she's horrible. They also made this movie called Drake and Josh Go Hollywood, where Megan is supposed to visit a friend while their parents are on a cruise, her, her brothers put her on the wrong plane to Hollywood, so they try and get her. The show premiered in 2004 and ended in 2007, and the Drake and Josh Go Hollywood movie premiered in 2006. I miss this show. This show was awesome. The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Zack and Cody. The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody are about two twin brothers named Zack and Cody who get in a little shenanigans. It's like Drake and Josh. Zack is the troublesome one. Cody isn't. They move into the Tipton Hotel because their mom got a job as a lounge singer, and they live on the 23rd floor. Zach has a crush on the candy girl, Maddie. London Tipton, her father owns the hotel, so she's rich, pretty, dumb. The hotel manager, Mr. Mosby, however, doesn't like Zach's shenanigans and tries to stop those twins from doing horrible. There's also the bellboy Esteban, the oh yeah, the engineer Arwen, 
and all this and a lot of other crazy characters. The show was really funny. I loved it. And like Drake and Josh, they all got into very shenanigans. The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody premiered in 2005 and ended in 2008 because the Timpton wasn't the only place. Let's go on to the next show. The Sweet Life on Deck, our, on deck, our, our final show that I am discussing in this episode. Zack and Cody go on a cruise to attend Seven Seas High. Mr. Mosby has been on the board for three months and out of the hotel. Good riddance to Zack and Cody, he was probably thinking. But they come on the boat and surprise him sadly because they are attending Seven Seas High and are living in the boat. London, Tipton comes along. She thought she was going on vacation, but instead she was on the boat to attend Seven Seas High School and they put her on a boat because there's no way to get out of it. Zack and Cody go on to their normal crazy shenanigans. Mr. Mosby still hates them. And and they meet a new friend named Bailey who's from a state. I forgot what state. I'm so sorry. Cody has a disgusting roommate named Woody who is yeah, pretty much disgusting. And their teacher, Emma Tutwiler, also st hates Zack and Cody and tries to stop them in their own little shenanigans. The Sweet Life on Deck premiered in 2008, just when uh, Zack and Cody ended, and it, the series ended in 2011. Zack and Cody, great people. So there are six more TV shows that rock the house, childhood days. There are three episodes left. Three. It's someone's birthday around the world, so happy birthday to that someone, and I'll see you on Thursday. Bye-bye.